Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am back with yet another 10 mods that you have probably never heard of. And just like always, none of these mods have more than 100,000 downloads. And anyways, let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright, the first mod I have for you guys today is Macaw's Roofs, and this mod adds several new blocks to the game which are all focused on making roofs look just a bit better. And there's a bunch of variety with these blocks so you can pretty much get them to fit with whatever you like when you're building, and overall they just look really good. Next up we have the Compact Orza mod, and this mod adds several new ores to the game which are pretty much just variants of the regular ones, but they give you a lot more ores than the regular ones do. And I featured mods like this in the past that are essentially the same thing, but this is just a 1.14 version, and I really like mods like this because it's really enjoyable to find these ores. After that, we have the Ceiling Torch mod, and this is a very simple mod which allows you to place torches on the ceiling. And really, that's all there is to it, but it can be a really helpful mod sometimes. Up next, we have the Mikasa Bridges mod, and this mod adds some new bridge blocks to the game which look really good. And if you haven't already caught on, this mod is made by the same person that made it Mikasa Roofs, so you know, well done Mikasa. Gammy's mod is the next mod up, and this mod adds several new things to the game, ranging from new blocks, armor sets, and food. It doesn't have a huge amount of content, so if you're looking for something that isn't absolutely massive, then you'll probably like this mod. After that, we have the Backpacked mod, and this is a very simple backpack mod, and honestly, I quite enjoy that. All you do is just equip it into the new backpack slot, then press B, and right away you have 9 new inventory slots, which you can use however you would like. And I really like this mod because it isn't overly complicated, you can actually see the backpack on your back, and it isn't massively overpowered. Next, we have the Wild World mod, and this mod will make your caves look quite a bit better than they did before by adding things such as stalagmites. And probably my favorite feature from this mod is that caves will look different depending on the biome you're in, so if you're inside of a cold biome, caves will incorporate a bunch of ice, or if you're in a desert biome, they'll be made mostly of sand. Following that, we have the Disc Holder mod, and this mod adds a new block to the game which can hold up to 8 discs inside of it, and you can individually remove and place discs in whichever slot you would like, and this block also comes in multiple different colors. Nearing the the end, we have Dawn of Time Builder Edition, and this mod adds multiple new sets of blocks to the game which have their own unique themes. Currently the mod has a Japanese, a French, and Mayan theme available, and this mod allows you to build some pretty amazing looking stuff. And if you'd like some examples of this, the mod page has some very good ones. Finally, the last mod I have for you guys today is Magic Kingdoms, and this mod just has an absolutely ridiculous amount of content available. There's new biomes, giant structures, and magic, and a whole bunch more. And considering how much content this mod has, I'm very surprised it has less than 5,000 downloads currently, but it is a very new mod. Alright, that's the end of this video, and if there's any other mods out there that you think should be on one of these lists in the future, go ahead and post it in the comments below, just make sure it has less than 100,000 downloads and is at least version 1.12. And anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.